بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الله بيت في الله إمام الشيخ فوزان حفظ الله تعالى was asked during this time it has become common to curse and slander the major scholars and accusations of wickedness and disbelief, especially after fatawa against bombings. They say our scholars are weak in love and hating for Allah. Therefore, we ask for your advice for those who involve in this issue. And what is the ruling of refuting the one who speaks like this? Sheikh Fozan Hafidhullahu Ta'ala responded by saying, it is an obligation on the one who is ignorant not to speak and keep silent and fear Allah and not to speak without knowledge. Verily, my Lord has prohibited wickedness open and hidden, sinfulness and oppression without right to do so, also associating partners with Allah without authority to do so, and to speak about Allah without knowledge. Surah al Al -araf. Therefore, it is not permissible for one who is ignorant to speak about an issue, especially a major issue, like tikfir and jihad, loving and hating for Allah. As for backbiting and slandering the honor of the leader and the ulama, then this is the worst type of backbiting. That is not permissible. As for past and present issues, then these are the concern or affairs of the authorities and scholars. They research these issues and they counsel regarding them. It is the job of the scholars to clarify the rulings, the Sharia rulings. As for the general people and beginning students, then this is not their job or concern. Allah says, when some news of security or alarm comes their way, they broadcast it. But had they referred it to the messenger and to those in authority among them, those who can draw conclusions from it would have comprehended it. Were it not for Allah's blessing and mercy upon you, you would have followed the devil except for few. Surah An-Nisa it is an obligation to restrain one's tongue regarding those issues, especially relating to takfir, loving and hating for Allah's sake, because people are mostly ignorant in applying to these in applying to see these things and may err in their application, judging someone to be misguided or a disbeliever, and the ruling may apply to himself, and I seek refuge in Allah from that. He should restrain his tongue unless he is not those who have been entrusted with this affair, the leader or scholars. This is a necessity to research this issue and fulfill the responsibility. As for the general people and small students, then he has no right to make judgment about a person and defame his honor and he is ignorant, backbiting, making takfir and tafsiq and other rulings. This harms the one who does this. A Muslim must restrain his tongue and not speak about what, he do, what does not concern him. He should supplicate for the Muslims to be aided and against disbelievers to receive punishment. This is from your right and you should not involve yourself in making sharia rulings making errors, speaking about the leaders and ulama, judging them with disbelief or misguidance. This is incredibly dangerous. O oh, you who speak, as for those scholars and leaders, your speech does not harm them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.